What's up, scapers, and welcome to the Slug Minutes quest guide. The quest requirements are Sea Slug and Wanted. The skill requirements are 30 Crafting, Rune Crafting, Slayer, and Thieving. The items needed are a melee weapon and melee armor, put them on. Comorb V2, if you have it, bring it. Otherwise, it is obtained during the quest automatically. Bring one Swamp Paste, make sure it is not Swamp Tar, one Wicked Hood or 10 to 15 rune or pure essences. Make sure you have used air, earth, mind, water and fire talismans to the wicked hood. Otherwise, if you don't have the wicked hood, you can bring those talismans with you because we will be entering some altars. Also have eight free inventory slots. The recommended items are a traveler's necklace with at least one charge, some food if your combat level is low, the recommended unlocks are low stones to Falador, Ardoin, Alcarid, Lumridge, and Falador. Have some quick teleport charges from using Wispax to speed things up. And lastly, the enemy to defeat is level 51, and it is immune to ranged and magic. So you have to use melee. Let's go. To start off, use the low stone to Falador. Go southeast, we are heading to the Falador Park. Talk to Sir Tiffy, option one, the slug menace. Accept the quest. Option three, goodbye. Next, we are heading to Witchhaven. If you have the access to fairy rings, the code is BLR. Otherwise, use the lost on the Ardoin and go east. When you are near the mine, go southeast. Go to the northeastern docks of Witch Haven. Talk to Col O'Neill. Option 3, who are the important people in Witchhaven? Option 4, that's enough for now. Go west to the western building. Talk to the mayor. Any option? Option 2. What improvements are you making to the shrine? Option 4. Nothing at the moment. Thanks. Go towards the church and you will get interrupted. Go through the chat and go back to the church. Talk to Brother Meldict. Option 4, that's enough for now. Go north to the travel icon. And over there, talk to Holgard. Go east, back to the docks. Talk to Colo O'Neill.
Option 4, that's enough for now. Go west to the old ruin entrance. Climb down. To your east, push the wall. To your east, use the agility shortcut if you can. Otherwise, go around and follow the path. Try to open the door by clicking on it and go through the chat. Right click the com orb and scan. Right next to you, pick up the dead sea slug. Right click your traveler's necklace and use the outpost teleport. Go west and talk to Yoral inside the building. Option 2, translations. Let's head back to Witchhaven, use the fairy ring code if you can, otherwise use the lowstone to Ardoin. And go through Savant's chat options if you get them. Head east, back to Witchhaven. When you get near to the mine, go southeast to Witchhaven. And let's head to the docks, which are to your east. Talk to Colonial. Go southwest to the church and you will get a cutscene. Talk to Brother Maildict. Go to the Northwestern Building. It is the Mayor's House. Study the desk. Go east to the fishing shop. Talk to Ezekiel. Option 4, you are a bit too strange for me. Bye! Go north and talk to Colonial. From your inventory, use the swamp paste to any of the fragments and go through the chat.
go west to the travel icon. Talk to Jeb and you will get to the fishing platform. Go west and talk to Bailey inside the house. From your inventory, use the C slug glue to any of the fragments. Use this picture to complete this puzzle. You can click on the arrows to move the pieces and the flip piece option is for flipping the pieces. You can also move specific pieces by clicking on the schematic button. And if you have multiple toggled on, they all move. Try to match the picture and you are good to go. We are done. From your inventory, we drop some essences from your wicked hood. Right click the page one, select shape earth. Right click the page one, select air. Right click the page two, select fire. Page two, water. And page three, mind. Now we need to head to all of the altars. So activate your wicked hood. And let's start with the air rune altar. You can also get here by using the lodestone to Edgeville and running south from there. Enter the altar and use the blank air rune to the altar. If you failed, make another air rune from the page one. Use the wicked hood and select earth rune altar. Enter the altar. Use the blank earth rune to the altar. If you failed, make another earth rune from the page one. Let's continue. Use the lost on to Alcarid. We are heading to the fire altar. Go north. Enter the fire altar. Use the blank fire rune to the altar. If you failed, make another fire rune from the page 2. Otherwise, let's use the lodestone to Lumrich and continue. Go southwest towards the water altar. Continue to west and enter the water altar.
use the blank water rune to the altar. If you failed, make another water rune from page 2. Let's continue to Goblin Village, so use the lowstone to Falador. Go north, and we are trying to find the Mind Altar next. Go slightly east and up the hill. Keep going north and slightly east. Enter the Mind Altar. Use the blank Mind Rune to the altar. If you failed, make another Mind Rune from page 3. We are done with this part. Let's return to Witch Haven and use the Fairy Ring code if you can. Otherwise, use the Lost on to Ardoin. Head east. This time we are heading straight to the old ruins. When you get close to the mining spot, go south. Enter the old ruins. Enter the wall opening to your east. Use the agility shortcut if you can, otherwise go around. Follow the path to east. From your inventory, use the runes to the wall. This will spawn the enemy, which is immune to magic and ranged, so use melee. Kill the slug prince. Go through the chat. Talk to Sir TV. Option 1, the slug menace. Congratulations. The Slug Menace quest completed. You can get rid of the Comorb, it is not needed for anything after this. Remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe, and see you in the next one.